Hello, welcome down to some Griffiths Occasional Series in MATLAB tutorials. Today we'll be looking at how to make your program more robust, more user friendly. And just to say, 99.9% .9 of the IP, the intellectual property, comes from Steve Eddins and the MATLAB Central File Exchange. Is that alright? Just to give credit for there, I'm just going to talk about it. So, here's the version here, line 7, 8, that will just um, get you 40 out of 100 or perhaps 35 out of 100 on a bad day. I have one or two pauses and the idea here is we go along and just see what's going on. So let's just run it and there we have the first pause up and that's grand. Now even there you see there's no title, there's no caption etc. We go out to here, the pause is there, I'm not going to continue for the moment and now uh, this is the much better version again taken from Steve Evans. I think I've said that a, g a good few times just to give credit risk. CLC clears the command window, clear the, the, clears all the workspace, close all, uh, closes all figures etc and workspace just typing that gets the, um, the workspace visible there. Now your M file could be stored anywhere, it could be stored on a memory stick, a DVD, a CD, Drive Q, Drive R, whatever the hell it is. So Brett Cholson uh, ran this, is deployed, so it'll change the directory from wherever the file is located. Ver here displays the toolboxes in, th in the command window, you know, what version you're running, and then here, when we get to here, introduce to demo, message sprintf so that'll display it and then we get a dialog box up here do you want to run the demo if it's cancelled you kick out and if it's not cancelled you carry on okay so let's see how far that gets so and then the next one now when we've d remember we typed ver so that gives us all that just go back to here I can't, sorry about this, I, I just, do you wish to continue, I do, uh, a demo image and peppers, now Let's go back to here. So the program is done, but I have to go back a fair bit. So I think I mentioned this. So it'll change the current directory to wherever the M file is or the source code. Ver displays the command toolboxes. That's there. So there's the toolboxes that I had on this particular machine. So that displays there. And there's a message which we saw, very simple program, dialog box, run demo, cancel, you know, okay. So I said I wanted to run the demo. Now this command here, string compare. So it does a string compare with the reply with cancel. So if cancel and reply are the same, you string compare is true. And this line executes and you kick out. Here we go here, this try. So Let's get on with that. So, you've seen this before. Version info dot ver. Capture the toolboxes in the variable. The cache in the variable. Yeah, version info has IPT image processing toolbox. So set that to false, and then in this little for loop here, you do a string compare, and you're comparing image processing toolbox with version info dot name. So it goes through all the toolboxes. If you find a match it gets to one, you know, has IPT is set to true and if it isn't, something happens. If you don't have the IPT, the image processing toolbox, you get this message here saying sorry, etc, etc, and you kick out. So this just checks whether you have the image processing toolbox. Continuing with the demo, we close all the figures, we set the font size to 16, we display a new figure, and uh, and then we maximize the figure so we get it to the maximize screen size. Change the current folder so if it is deployed so 
we change it to um, the, the, where the M file is stored. Then, as we saw, uh, the demo. Do you want to demo it or do you want to pick your own? So sprintf is um, string print format. Uh, the slash n here gives us a new line or pick one of your own and reply to that's what you click to the question dialog box so do you want to demo or uh, my own so we saw that if you say demo um, you remember we said peppers onion and I can't remember what the other one is like canoe or something whatever it was so these lines here which demo image do you want to use question dialog box and then the selected image, remember we'd have clicked onions, peppers or whatever the other one is, canoe. And then, so full image file name will be either onions or whatever, or canoe or peppers. The else here, we've set the if. So if you say demo else, they pick their own. So then you could go off and you using the, um, the dialog box, you could pick your um, folder wherever you could pick your folder and then select your own image and then CD folder so you change that particular folder etc UI get file and you'll get your own particular image you'll just have to run it yourself yeah I, I just selected the demo now so we are got to here we've selected onions or peppers whatever the hell it is now we want to check does it exist so the command here is exist so full image file name so you compare a file which we got somewhere way up there so you're comparing the two if it doesn't exist the message kicks in you know that it doesn't exist and then there's a ui wait, user input wait line 111 so it's an rgb image stored color map i am read the full image file name here size remember it gives rows columns and the depth like how many layers are layer, layer one is red layer two is green and layer three is blue okay now it could well be a monochrome so if it's a monochrome converted to color that's not a mistake okay just i your matlab i know it's an american base but color is color and you can't put in the u later on so string compare the class of RGB image so it's a for you in date you know uh, it's 8 bit is true if it's not it's false then we do the number of color bands remember we got the number of color bands uh, somewhere oh there that'd be the third one rows columns so if the number of color bands is one um you know it's grayscale and this line here you're converting the, you're taking the grayscale putting it into red the grayscale putting it into green the grayscale putting it into blue and cat is the matlab command for concatenate so it lambs the tree on top of each other so you'll end up with an rgb image else it's an index image again now i'm not going to get into an index image because really i'm just getting a little beyond where i wanted to go but it's just a, another one so there we are so it's an it so if for those of you that we get it we normalize not one and then we convert to 255 that's just being extra cautious then on line 137 we display the original image draw now is a command to make it draw immediately and then if the number of color bands is greater than one a title appears original color image font size six uh, whatever the font size is 16. i think we set it to 16 somewhere up there did we fairly certainly a font size of 16 okay uh, where am I else you put in a caption original image converted to true color with its stored color map title caption font size again remember the slash n gives you a new line and then the catch me so remember way up there there was a try okay so we try all of that if that's just a total disaster 
and nothing happens like it just things crash just catch me error message it just didn't run and you get a display message there okay so hope that helps a little I may have rushed it a little bit but what I was trying to do is I was trying to show you that how to get a more robust um, MATLAB file and how to just do some sort of error checking. Thanks very much for listening.